Hi friends, welcome to the alpaca paddock in my yard. I have strategically placed chaff, which is dried hay that is alpaca gold around my yoga mat. So you can enjoy some alpaca with your asana. <laughs> you might hear them doing a little bit of humming. Um, they may, we don't know what's going to happen, but they hum, they like to hum. Their mothers hum to them as babies. So they make funny little noises. So you might hear them in the background. So let's get started, shall we? I wanted to do um, a Hatha flow today. So we'll do some more classical poses and hold them for a little bit longer. I guess I should introduce them first before we get started. That was rude of me. This one right here who is currently pooping is Upeka. Upeka the alpaca. This is Gilderoy. He is the alpha. These two boys are new. We just got them recently. Our other two boys, this is Nostradamus here in the back. He's not the alpha. But he has a really nice um, hipster haircut. And this is Nemo, the black one. We got these two first. We love them. I didn't realize that I had an alpaca-shaped hole in my heart. But they're filling it up. So hopefully they'll come around and get some nibbles. Let's begin in child's pose. The knees can be together, they can be wide. If you have any low back issues, then bring the legs um, together. It can give a little roundness and some ease in the spine. Arms can be long or they can be wrapped around, grabbing for the ankles as well. Just three big rounds of breath, full inhalations. Think about expanding all the way around the rib cage on your inhales. And then maybe releasing the breath out the mouth on the exhale, just letting a slight Separation of your lips, letting it come out. One more. Beautiful. Rolling or pushing yourself up into tabletop position. Have a soft bend in the elbows here and at your own pace, some cat cow or any organic movement that you'd like, just for a moment. Roll the shoulders back and forward, hips up and back. And then put the weight into the left hand and we're going to peel the right arm back, gaze up towards the fingers and then exhale reach underneath, thread the needle. We're not gonna stay, but just reach and then come all the way back up. So we'll just do this three times. So inhale and then exhale, reach up. Inhale, push and lift. Once more, exhale. And inhale, push and lift, hey sweeties. And exhale, tabletop. Take a moment, move around. I'll do this on the other side. Wait into the right hand. Inhale, left arm comes up, gaze follows. And three times going underneath at your own breath. Inhale, push into the earth to lift up. One more inhale and exhale, left hand comes down. We're gonna shift into downward facing dog. So plant the hands, fingers really wide, Take the toes, send the hips up and back. Knees can be as bent as you'd like them to be. And heels, contrary to popular belief, do not need to be touched on the ground. They're just going that direction so you can imagine them being heavy, but not needing to touch. Maybe send the hips to the left and to the right. And then right leg comes up, spread the toes, make it really active and reach through the right inner thigh as you lift. Gaze forward towards the hands, pull the knee into the chest, pause for a moment. 
and then step through in between the hands. Plant the back knee down, press into the front foot and the back knee, press down to lift up on Janayasana. So some options here, hands can be together. This is Kali Mudra here, Charlie's Angels Mudra. Hands can be together or they can be parallel. And if they're parallel, really reaching out through the edges of the fingertips, squaring the hips. Exhale, plant the hands down, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward plank pose. We'll hold this for a moment. Crown of the head reaches forward. Hands press down into the earth, slight separation at the shoulder blades, and heels send back. So I'm gonna incorporate Ashtangasana instead of Chaturanga, but you can do Chaturanga if you'd like. Bring the knees, chest, and chin down. Your booty's up like a little inchworm. And then untuck your toes, slide your heart forward, low cobra. Press your pubic bone down into the ground. This helps to protect your low back. Downward facing dog. So if you feel healthy and um, strong in those areas, you could try chaturanga as well. You choose. Inhale, left leg lifts, reach to the left inner thigh, spread the toes, gaze towards the hands. Exhale, knee to nose, hold for just a moment. And then big step up, left foot in between the hands. Bring the back knee down. Pull the front heel, back knee together just slightly to square the hips. And then arms reach up. Fingers can be spread wide and strong, or you can bring the hands together. I like to lengthen my tailbone down just slightly and pull up on my pubic bone, like curling it towards me. That helps to set my pelvis right. So you can explore that in your own body. And then the hands plant down. This time, let's right leg steps up to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands can come down and knees can be bent or hands can come to the shins. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, also called Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, fold forward again. This is Uttanasana, forward fold. Once more like this. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees even deeper. Press down into the feet to lift up. And exhale, hands to heart, center. We'll stay here in Tadasana for just a moment. Actively press the hands into hands so that you feel so active that the shoulder blades draw together on the back just slightly. Press down through the feet. Let that pressing allow you to lift up so that down energy creates the upward energy. So you can imagine really um, like you are growing roots through your feet and then lengthening up through the spine. Pull up on your kneecaps. Engage your core. Roll your shoulders back and pull your heart center forward towards your thumbs. And we'll move from here. Some sun salutations, classical style. Inhale, arms lift up, gaze follows. Exhale, soft bend in the knees as you fold forward. Step back with the right foot. Plant the back knee down. Inhale, one breath, lift the arms up, Anjaneyasana, your version. And exhale, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Full exhale. Inhale, round and roll forward, plank pose. And exhale, knees, chest, chin come down to the ground, or chaturanga. And slide the heart forward, roll the shoulders back, lengthen the neck. And downward facing dog. One round of breath. Inhale. And exhale. Gaze forward. Step forward with the right foot. The back knee plants. One breath. Inhale, lift. 
And exhale, plant the hands, step forward, left foot meets the right, forward fold. Uttanasana. Soft bend in the knees, press down to lift up. And exhale, hands, heart center. Other side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Step back with the left foot. The back knee plants. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Spin the hips. And plant the hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, wave forward plank pose. And exhale, knees, chest, chin. Or you can just come all the way to the ground as well. Inhale, low high cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze forward, step forward with the left foot, back knee. Plants. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Plant the hand, exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Soft bend in the knees. Press down, lift up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Once more each side. Any variation. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward. Step back at the end of that exhale. And the next inhale, the knee comes down, arms come up on Janayasana. Plant the hands, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, wave forward, plank pose. And exhale, come down to the ground or Ashtangasana, however you'd like to get there. Inhale, open the heart, your choice. And exhale, downward facing dog. Step forward with the right foot. Back knee plants. Inhale, Anjanasana. Plant hands. Exhale, left foot meets the right forward fold. Inhale, press down, lift up. And exhale, hands, heart center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward. Step back with the left foot. Plant the knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, wave forward, plank pose. And exhale, knees, chest, chin, or come down. Can you hear them humming? Inhale, high, low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step forward with the left foot, back knee plants. Inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Rise up, inhale. And hands, heart center, exhale. Steady breath. <sighs> Listen to the alpaca hum <laughs> as you fully inhale, fully. Exhale. Next inhale, arms lift, gaze lifts. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. One round of breath here. Inhale, the right leg lifts, reach through the inner thigh. And exhale, big step in between the hands. Press down through the feet, especially the front foot. Press down, down, down to lift up. Crescent lunge. The back knee can be as bent as you'd, as you'd like it to be. I like to bend it quite a bit because it helps the, where my pelvis sits. So I like to bend my back leg, kind of send my hips forward just slightly and lengthen my tailbone down. That's in my pelvis, so you explore that in your own. 
reach the arms up, either taking the mudra or reaching out through the sides of the fingertips. Hands really alive. One more inhale. And on your exhale, opening up into warrior two. So planting the back heel down. Check out where your feet are. Maybe you pull them in, maybe you reach them out a little bit farther. A vague rule is that maybe the wrists, ankles come over, ankles come under the wrists. A few alignments here. I like to pull back on my right outer hip crease. And then think about an outer spiral with the front thigh. Sometimes I'll even take my hands and just do a quick, sometimes the sound effect helps. A quick outer rotation, quick pull back on the outside right hip crease. And then maybe you can sink a little bit lower. Two more rounds of breath here. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, come all the way down, windmill the hands. And step forward, left foot meets the right. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, fold forward. Slight bend in the knees, rise all the way up to stand. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, forward fold. Find your way back to downward facing dog. Take a full round of breath when you get there. And then inhale, lift the left leg, lift through the inner thigh. And exhale, big step forward in between the hands. So even before you come up, you can start to square the hips by pulling back slightly on the left hip crease and pressing down to lift up your choice with the arms. Bend in the back knee to help square the hips. Steady breath. Gazing at one thing, drishti, having a really strong point of focus, visual focus, can help add strength in this pose. One more inhale. Exhale, back heel comes down as you turn and open up warrior two. Adjust the feet however you need. Evenly pressing through both feet. Maybe looking down at the front side, having a little bit of an outer spiral and pull back on the outer left hip crease. Then opening up the arms again, really strong and solid here. Then let the breath flow. Legs stay as they are. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, windmill the hands down. This time stepping back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Exhale, step in between the hands. We're gonna come all the way up right into warrior two here. So plant the back heel, windmill the arms open. Warrior two, a few more rounds of breath here. Something that I like to do is to turn the palms up, bend the elbows, roll the shoulders really exaggeratingly, pull the shoulders together, so feel that strength, and then turn the hands over and pull them out, keeping that strength in the back. You can try that, maybe it helped, maybe it didn't. Extended side angle. The right elbow is gonna come on top of the thigh or maybe on the inside of the thigh just slightly if you wanna challenge. Left arm can come straight up or reaching towards the top of the mat. Same thing with the outer spiral and pulling back on the outside hip crease. And in this pose, really add that connection to the back foot. Steady breath. Gaze can be forward. It can be down, it can also be up. Mm -hmm. 
reverse triangle. So with the arms first, then the torso, then lengthening the front leg. Reverse triangle. So big side body stretch. The back hands can kind of tiptoe down the leg. And we'll move into triangle pose. So bring the torso back up. Shift the hips back just slightly. Bend the front knee slightly. Reach, reach, reach. And triangle pose. Hand can come to the thigh. I mean, sorry, to the, um, the calf, a block, or the thigh. Hand can be up, reaching forward. Think about rotating the rib cage up and lengthening the tailbone down towards the back heel as the crown of the head reaches towards the top of the mat. Lots of little things. Just pick a few cues to work with. One more inhale. Stay here for the exhale. And then inhale, bend in the front leg. We're coming back up into warrior two. Two rounds of breath here. And then lengthen the front leg as the front toes turn in. We're gonna come into wide leg forward fold. So now both the toes are turning in just slightly, heels are slightly out. And then bring the hands behind the back. So maybe the fingertips are touching behind the back. Shoulders roll back, heart center opens. Maybe you lean back just slightly. And then exhale, come forward with the heart leading as the hips go back. Your choice where you place the hands. Maybe reaching towards the feet behind you or in front of you. Can you bring the focus of the connection to the feet on the pinky toe edge of the foot on each side, lifting the arches, gluing down the outsides of the feet. Slight internal rotation of the thighs, sit bones spreading. Hands plant. Inhale, press down through the hands, lift halfway up. And then exhale towards the top of the mat, low lunge. Downward facing dog. Let's do this on the other side. Inhale, lift with the left inner thigh. And exhale, let's step through in between the hands. Plant the back heel down, we're coming all the way into warrior two, so press down to lift up. Actively pressing through the back foot as well and finding your pose here, making your own adjustments. Maybe doing that same roll back with the arms to get activation. Extended side angle. Elbow to the thigh or the inside of the thigh. I like to bring the arm or the elbow pressing into the leg, leg pressing back into the arm, using that space to help open the rib cage. And then reaching, reaching through the top hand, especially the pinky finger. Feeling the strength of this pose. Maybe sinking a little bit deeper. Next inhale, lift the torso up. Lengthen the front leg, reverse triangle. The back hand can come down the leg. And then shifting the torso up, preparing for triangle pose. Arms reaching out, hips reaching back. And then finding your variation. Spiraling rib cage open. Having lots of energy down through the back heel. And leaving space for the neck. One more full round of breath. 
Inhale, warrior two, slowly coming up, bending the front knee. And this time coming into goddess pose. We're going to turn towards the back of the mat, but the heels will come in and the toes will come out. Sink back, hands can come to the thighs. You can stay right here. If you'd like to move a little bit, you can drop one shoulder and then the other. Or you could stay and breathe. Wherever you are, press down through the feet to lift up. Arms lift up as well. Warrior two. <laughs> Top of the mat. And then windmill the hands down. Forward fold. Stepping forward. Shake the head yes, shake the head no. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Inhale, wave forward plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, anything you would like to bring you down. Opening the heart on an inhale. And exhale, child's pose. One big round of breath in. And exhale out. Beautiful. Coming to a seat, you can sit cross-legged or you can sit on your knees. Rolling the shoulders back, maybe a couple spirals in the spine. If you'd like to take a Shavasana after this, then feel free when the video shuts down to just give yourself some space for that. Just take one deep breath together. One more. Hands together. Thumbs at the third eye and let's bow forward to seal this practice. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining all of us here at the farm. And Let me know what you thought of alpaca yoga. And I know that it's not as popular as goat yoga. Just not yet. I think that I've cornered, maybe have cornered the alpaca yoga market. So let me know your thoughts of uh, where we can go from here. Gilderoy's coming up for his cameo. If you are enjoying my YouTube classes, that I invite you to come over to CCY Studio. This is my membership site where I have longer classes, soon to be opportunities for live classes, guest teachers, and a book club, and alpaca content. So if you're interested, click the link in the description. I would love to see you over there. You get a free trial, and we can just explore at a deeper level. So hope to see you over there.